Hey guys, this is Corey with Custom RV in Amarillo, Texas. And today I have a brand new arrival to show you. This is the 2021 and a half Forest River Surveyor Model 202 RBLE. This is in the Legend segment of the Surveyor line. It comes in at about 4,733 pounds unloaded and is 24 foot 4 inches in overall length. This unit's gonna feature a 60 by 80 True Queen, outside kitchen, solar package from, from the factory, big refrigerator, awesome storage. You're gonna wanna stay tuned for this one. Let's go ahead and we'll jump on to the inside. So we step inside of the 202 RBLE Surveyor. We'll go ahead and we'll tackle the living area first. And as you can see over here, this does have the optional TSS sofa. So that's trifold sofa sleeper. The cool thing about this is you can see it does have kickouts like a theater seat, but it also makes a very large bed. You can see the cup holders in each arm, as well as the center removable console. Nice modern dinette light too, by the way. And you do have nice big windows. The center slide out window, as well as the front windshield do not open, but every other uh, window in this trailer does open. Nice side stands on both sides of the uh, sofa there. And you can get this with a dinette if you so wanted to. We just feel because of the breakfast bar, which we'll take a look at in here in just a second, uh, this did need two places to eat. 110 power above your propane leak detector. And your sofa is directly across from this neat little breakfast bar and entertainment station. So this is not going to take away from your kitchen. It's elevated. It's got household and USB power on the other side, on the kitchen side, which we'll see here in a little bit. Um, but you've got the two bar stools as we pan up. Good door side window coverage. I like that big window right there too, by the way. Um, pleated nightshades again. Uh, you do have the optional 32 inch TV that we've applied to this one. And then you do have your AM, FM, and Bluetooth stereo right there. That's by Furion. It does have HDMI and USB plugs, so you can upgrade that or uh, add a Blu-ray player or a CD, DVD player to that if you wanted to. This does have the standard 15,000 BTU main air conditioner, which is a great new upgrade for this year. And then all of your vents are going to be turnable and closable. Uh, that's called vented and louvered. And then I really like this. They put a vent in here just to help exhaust some extra heat. Um, personally, I would upgrade that to like a bigger Max Air style fan, um, but that's just me. And then coming over here, last couple things, and we'll take a look at the storage. You do have cabinet ducted heating, so there's no floor vents anymore. You can. Um, uh, sweep out the trailer a lot easier and then right here's your digital thermostat and then real quick over here by the door you do have your main control panel so you've got your awning and slide out buttons some lighting controls and then above that you do have the solar controller for the 80 watt solar panel by go power uh, standard on all these surveyors it's a really cool uh, high efficiency panel something that I really think is a standout feature with these surveyors all right guys let's go ahead and we'll open up all this kitchen storage and take a look at some of the awesome new changes and storage in this compact little trailer all right guys so I've got all the storage opened up here so first thing I want to touch on is the countertops these are a seamless one-piece uh, thermofoil style countertop made by a comp company called Surfex. So they're scra scratch, chip, and stain resistant. You can see the stainless steel farm sink down here. It does have the dual cutting board grade covers with the high-rise faucet there. So we come over there, you'll notice household USB plugs in the kitchen easy reach um, which is something that I really like 
we come up top here, this is all pocket screwed cabinetry. You do have great extra storage here. Um, so what I mean by pocket screwed is back here, you can feel where it's screwed and glued together as opposed to stapled. Great uh, countertop space. You'll also notice the three drawers. So you've got one with the silverware divider in it, which is really neat, and then two extra drawers. And then over here, you've got a spot for a waste basket as well as pots and pan storage. And the neat thing is, is you know you can store this here, but it also uh, works if you're going to pull it out and use it somewhere else, which is you know just a neat, neat idea. I like it. You've got your graystone three burner cooktop and oven. I just have it folded back part of the way. This will fold back up all the way. And you can notice the countertop to cabinet backsplash over here, which is something I really like. Not a lot of brands do that. You do have the Surveyor branded bottle opener over here, as well as your pet friendly bowls down here, which is a neat touch. And then this is an old school feature, but you've got the knife block back here. And then they have this little cup right here for some of your serving utensils. And just, you know, Surveyor has really stepped up their game. And they're, you know, they're thinking of little touches for people who actually use these things. And you can tell that their design team really goes camping, which is great. Hood range with the vent and light. Uh, and then you do have your microwave over here. And this kitchen is great. But as we spin around, we'll see the other half of it. So down below, starting from the bottom, we'll work our way up and then we'll go to the pantry. You have your breakers and fuses, easy to get to if you have a problem, um, which is nice. And then you've got the 10.7 cubic foot nor cold 12 volt compressor fridge so as you can see that is a great great size uh, this will work off of the solar panel so you can uh, basically run this about 77 hours is what is what they say which is you know just a really neat uh, option to have and the reason they do this is uh, a lot of states don't want you to run propane and electric fridges going down the road anymore uh, one note on this, if you look up top here, you do have an actual power button. Some of these do not. And then over here you have this nice, huge pantry. And this is actually a really good spot to see this. But uh, you'll notice Surveyor does not have the vaulted interior roof anymore. What they did is they raised their sidewalls three inches. So what that's going to give you is more cabinetry space, taller slides, taller room in the shower, which is, you know, as being a 6'3 tall dude, um, that's something that I really appreciate. So again, there's an awesome look at that pantry. All right, guys, let's go ahead and we'll jump into the bathroom real quick and we'll take a look at some of the new changes there. All right, guys, so stepping onto the inside of this bathroom in this 202 RBLE, you'll notice you have a solid pocket door here. Porcelain foot flush lever toilet, plenty of leg room around there. You do have a GFI protected outlet, as well as your tank monitoring panel, as well as your water pump and water heater switches. Good storage down there. I wish this would have been able to open up all the way, um, but it is good that they still kept the storage and then they give you this little trash can down here as well as some plumbing access on this side so this is a nice feature you don't ever see that still seamless one piece countertop nice uh, modern square sink octagon backsplash they're one of the only people that is putting a backsplash in their bathrooms I think that's awesome toothbrush holders inside of your medicine cabinet and as you can see it is a true medicine cabinet not just a mirror glued to the wall nice uh, two-piece shower stall does have the ABS surround paneling and you do have the slow close shower stall uh, shower curtain I should say 
skylight up top. Uh, you can be upwards of six five in and still be able to shower comfor comfortably in here. And then as we spin around, you notice a light switch for your interior lights in the bathroom. And you do have these nice towel hooks that give you the Surveyor branded laundry bag, which is, you know, just a neat touch. As we come up top here, you'll notice the vent fan. You could upgrade this to a max fan if you, or a max air fan if you wanted. And then you do have the nice uh, linen cabinet. And some people ask why they didn't put doors on here. And the reason is you've got the hook, the, the, the towel hooks there, as well as the toilet. So um, it, it just wouldn't have worked for them to put um, doors here. Now, in all fairness, I would have liked to see some, some kind of netting there. Um, but that would be my only uh, critique there in the bathroom really like that door too just the light versus the dark contrast is really nice all right guys let's go ahead and we'll jump up to the bedroom and take a look at some of the features there all right guys so stepping up to the bedroom area of this 202 rble surveyor this is a 60 by 80 true queen so you taller folks uh this is the normal size queen not the short camper queen it does have easy lift storage there underneath the bed and this is actually where you store those two bar stools that come with the trailer so that is on gas struts for this year something i really like you do have the windshield up front letting in a ton of natural light there is a privacy shade there too by the way coming over here on both sides of the bed you have household and usb outlets you have the nice extra drawer and then you have hanging closets and notice how tall these hanging closets are compared to some of the competition and they are mirrored in case you're wondering nice overhead storage uh, so you've got cubbies up there and then back here you do have even more cubbies there's cup holders back there uh, there's extra 110 power outlets so if you've got a CPAP machine this would be a perfect place for you to put that um, hidden storage underneath where the cup holder is um, just a really good bedroom setup they're one of the only trailers I've seen that is utilizing that space back there instead of just wasting it all right guys that is going to wrap it up for the interior of the 202 RBLE surveyor let's go ahead and we'll jump on to the outside and take a look at some of the neat features there uh, pardon any road noise you can probably hear it in the background uh, but we are right next to the highway so I apologize in advance for any loud uh, trucks or cars driving right by the store let's go ahead and we'll jump on to the outside all right guys so we're on the outside of this 202 RBLE surveyor as you can see it is a fiberglass unit you do have the windshield up on this front piece of fiberglass that is an automotive grade windshield diamond plate rock guard below and then over here you do have your power tongue jack that does have a light on it two 20 pound propane tanks spot for your battery and your battery disconnect is located back there so if you want to kill all 12 volt power to the unit you can do that for storage over here is your other side of your pass through we'll take a look at that here in a minute you do have your four corner stabilizer jacks, six gallon gas electric hot water heater, and your uh, fresh water connection. Coming around to the other side, you do have a single rack and pinion style slide out. This is a dual axle, and you can take a look down there and see the different wheels. I don't know if I like them yet. Um, but it is a dual axle for this size of camper. Um, that is a great feature to have. This is a forced uh, air heated underbelly as well as enclosed. As you can see down there, you do have your dump station. And then coming around over here, you have your cable and satellite hookups, city water connection, and your black tank flush to clean out your toilet tank, as well as a uh, your 30 amp service 
coming around over here, you've got your square tubular bumper, spare tire with carrier, standard roof ladder, so it's not an expensive option anymore, and you do have the backup camera prep. Coming around to the door entry side, you have the nice more ride step above steps. These are the upgraded steps that uh, have a larger top step here as compared to last year. You notice that Surveyor branding, that's a nice touch. Larger entry assist grab handle, and this is even larger than they were using last year. <coughs> Pardon me. And then, you, as you can see, this does have the Asdale onboard sticker. So Asdale is a composite panel that will never delaminate on you. It's waterproof, mold-proof, mildew-proof. And uh, Surveyor is actually using it in their front wall, rear wall, side walls, slide-in panels, and in their slide-out side walls. Really neat composite panel. Um, it is the next generation in... RV construction. Really glad to see that they're using that. You can see the power awning that does have LED lights and they still give you the porch light which is great. You can also see the outside kitchen, uh, dual LED backlit speakers. One is covered up by the entry door. Uh, there's a better look at those LED lights in that awning. You do have cable and satellite hookups as well as 110 power here. So if you want to bring an outside TV, you can. These do ride on lion's head tires. So those will give you a five year defect warranty, two years roadside assistance, and 12 months no questions asked replacement guarantee. This also is gonna use a PVC membrane on your roof. And that will give you a 15 year, 100% coverage, non prorated warranty. All right guys, let's talk about this outside kitchen. So I don't have the griddle and the sink out. I'll show you the boxes for those here in a minute. But you do have the refrigerator. And the this is where your sink will go. Again, I just don't have these unboxed. And then it comes with a Sunbeam Elite Series griddle. Or, I'm sorry, Suburban. And the nice thing about this is you have a propane hookup down there. Um, it's fully freestanding, so if you want to set it on a picnic table or something, you can do that. Use this for prep space. Um, you also are going to have a spray port here, so it'll come with the connection for that. I believe that's underneath the bed. And this is on a gas strut, so if, if you have kids and they're going to try to, and they run into this, it's not going to knock your griddle or your sink off. Uh, so really neat feature there. Coming up over here, you do have your pass-through storage. And that's a power awning too, by the way. I don't remember if I mentioned that or not. You have the magnetic catches, slam latch on this door. Inside of here, this is the sink for the kitchen as well as the uh, griddle box. This here will be a motion sensor light. So you can set it to on all the time, off or motion mode like I have it in now. Over here, this will be a three quarters inch socket for the uh, manual stabilizer jacks. You see awesome pass through storage, aluminum bed bases. That's a new feature for Surveyor, something that I really like. And again, slam latches. A uh, couple other things that I believe I missed on the front. This does have a safety chain holder or a dog leash clip as well as your seven-way Bargman plug holder on the other side. All right, guys, that is going to wrap it up for the 2021 and a half Surveyor Model 202 RBLE. If you have any questions on this particular unit, feel free to put those down in the comment section below. Also, you can give us a call for pricing and availability at 806-335-2336 or you can shoot me an email at contacts at custom-rv.com. A couple quick housekeeping notes. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, feel free to hit that like button down below. That lets us know how we're doing. 
Also, if you're new to the channel, or if you've been watching our videos and you want to stay up to date on all of our new content, feel free to hit that subscribe button down below. Again, guys, this has been the 2021 Surveyor 202 RBLE. We thank you very much for watching and have a wonderful rest of your day.